Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jumpstart a vehicle, in this case a 2016 Toyota Prius that the battery is dead on, and I'm going to show you how to jumpstart the car, find out why the battery died, more importantly, and what you can do to make sure it doesn't happen to you five minutes later. So the first step is to get yourself a pair of jumper cables. Um, I normally like to carry these in the back of each one of my cars. So I'm going to go to, to any one of the vehicles, hook up the positive side, making sure that nothing else in my booster cable is touching, right? And it's not touching the, the car yet. I'm going to hook up my positive cable on the car that's able to start. In this case, the Camry. If I had a hard time accessing a, the a negative terminal, some cars, they're hidden away or there's an air box or something holding them. I can use bolts like this, for example, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to the terminal. Uh, if you have a Mercedes Benz or a BMW and you're having that car started uh, by another vehicle, you'll normally see these little covers that flip open. And those are the jumper ports in case you need to jump start the car using another vehicle, uh, which I normally don't recommend on those Highline vehicles. But uh, those two are connected right now. I'm gonna to come to my car that needs to get started, this Prius, and uh, I'm gonna go and start the vehicle that's able to start. This car's motor is running. I'm not revving the motor. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm just gonna let it do its job and uh, slowly recharge the other battery. For us and bring it up to voltage and give us enough power to start it up and I'm gonna go ahead and connect this by the way when you're doing any kind of jump start you see I'm not wearing any watches any jewelry these uh, 12 volt systems cannot shock you but uh, if you're wearing jewelry they have a lot of amperage so something to watch out for no chains no watches no uh, jewelry when you're doing any kind of jump starting on a vehicle now I'm going to go ahead and go inside the car and find out why our battery died and the map light is on on the vehicle as well as the dome light. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these off so the other car isn't just sitting here trying to charge a battery that's going to be just discharging. Uh, and I'm going to let that run for a couple of minutes and talk about uh, what you should be doing in the meanwhile um, while you're waiting for the car to uh, to get a little bit of a boost on its battery talk about the jumper cables but if you have an older Prius this is a 2016 you'll see that the battery is actually located back here in the trunk on the right hand side to so the passenger side you'll see the battery in this area but on these newer ones they put it back underneath the engine compartment and now that we're waiting for that to start we're going to talk about a little bit about a booster cable so the bigger your motor is the the thicker you want to have cables so if you have a five dollar set of cables but you have a big v8 diesel it may not work for you or it may take a really long time. So I recommend investing a few bucks and I'll have a link below on uh, on getting on some quality cables that I've used. This just happens to be an older set that I carry in my car. And uh, I like cables uh, versus the jumper packs a little bit more just because I don't have to maintain them. Those batteries go bad and one less thing to worry about. I don't plan on using them, but sometimes that happens. And uh, so the thicker, uh, uh, the cable needs to be thicker, the bigger your motor is. So if you have a small little four cylinder motor, cables like this can, can normally suffice. And uh, let's go start this Prius. And then I'll show you how to disconnect it. Alrighty. So now we're back in the car. Uh, the clock is on, which is a good signal. The dome light is off, but uh, if you were still experiencing a problem and you wanted to see if it was something else when you go to crank 
uh, the car and your dome, uh, dome light really uh, dims down, that means you probably don't have enough juice in the system. So I'm going to try to record this for you as I start this car. So my, dim, my dome light barely dimmed at all. So I'm, I have enough power in the system to start it. And it says ready right there, right? And now that it's ready, I can go drive this vehicle. These Priuses normally don't start when the motor is running uh, unless you touch the gas. So I'm touching the gas, but I'm not really, uh, it's not metal, uh, like the throttle to the floor. So I'm just letting it idle. And uh, I'm gonna take this for a nice like 15 to half an hour drive at least. And when I get back uh, home, I'm gonna put this on a like a battery tender or, or a battery charger. Uh, that's a one amp or a five amp charger. And slowly let the battery charge again to see if I can bring it back to uh, its original condition. And let's turn off this dome light. Go disconnect these cables in the same exact order. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the negative cable first. Leave it down, not touching the metal on the car. So I have a bra on the car. But uh, you want to make sure you're not touching any kind of metal on the car. I'm going to come to the other side, disconnect the negative here. Right? And I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the positive on the other car. Leave them on the ground not touching each other and lastly I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the last uh, clamp off the car I'm gonna put this battery back cover back on close up this hood make sure to put that back in place I'm gonna check my terminals to make sure it wasn't a terminal problem just by Seeing if there's any defects or a lot of corrosion around here. A lot of times when the battery dies, you'll see a bunch of white uh, stuff around here. Um, you can buy those uh, corro uh, corrosion preventers. I'm not a big fan of them, but uh, I like the green and red ones you could put underneath the battery. But this one came with a car, and I didn't put it on. So let me know what you guys think, what kind of experiences you guys have had with jumping cars. You have to be extra careful. I've worked around cars for the last almost uh, 25 years and I've seen a lot of car guys burn up cars, uh, uh, fuse boxes, computers by doing them backwards uh, and uh, you just got to take your time, make sure you're not in a hurry and have a flashlight on if it's late at night and uh, always carry a pair of jumper cables in the back of your vehicle for yourself or to help another uh, fellow human being. Hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up. I will have some links to some products that I use below. Have a great day guys.